Well, you see her backstage right now at Download Festival 2023, and look who I bumped into. It is the one and only Harpy. Hello, hello. lovely to see you. How's things going? All good, Goth Queen. You look amazing as always. Thank you very much. I'm Please, Mike. Off in this outfit. <laughs> Talk me through your outfit because you're always bringing the killer vibes, the killer looks. Please tell us all about it. Honestly, it just feels wrong if I am not in latex. Yeah. Um, we've got some chaps. Uh, Westwood bound. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the designers now. Westwood bound. This is Amstatic latex. We've got some House of Harlot pants. And I'm wearing a Mary Wyatt top. Represent. Love Mary Wyatt. Of course, definitely. Now, of course, we're here at Download on the 20th anniversary, which is a killer thing, isn't it? It's been amazing so far. I've seen you around all weekend. Yes. I'm assuming you're going to be here until the very end, right? I will be here until the curtain calls. Oh, of course. Absolutely. You will find me raging at the front of every show. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Yeah, you're having a good time. Yeah. I mean, it's the 20th anniversary, though. So have you got anything that you would like to say to download on their 20th anniversary? Any memories you'd like to share or any special things that have happened over the years or just a message you'd like to send them on their 20th anniversary? <laughs> to all the downloaders out there, fuck it up. Have the time of your life. This is one of the best music festivals around and the community is amazing yes, the sure. alternative scene the metal scene i'm all about it and like the people are just next level so fuck it up and have a great time oh of course now, i'm so happy i caught you as well today so we can talk all about your music because your music i have been obsessed since the release of swallow right i've noticed so many people have started to realize the harpy name and so many more people have been picking up on this single of yours and let's talk all about it because i know that you'd written it a couple of years prior to putting it out right and then you found that the time that you put it out at the beginning of the year was the right time why did it feel like the right time for you why were you ready to drop swallow when you did yeah so the music that i've been working on i've been working on for quite a while with some amazing people philip strand from normandy shout out shout he's out. my producer extraordinaire <laughs> super talented guy and um, it, it's just all about when it feels right for me. I don't care about crunching the numbers and dropping EPs and like, it's all bullshit to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just whenever it feels good, yeah. put it out. When the people connect to it, that's all that really matters. Yeah. And people really did connect to Swallow and it's a big one for me. It's all about coming out of an abusive relationship and like turning the tables mm -hmm. and I'm just chuffed with the response. Really, yeah. really chuffed with it. Well, that was the next thing I was going to ask you about the response because when I heard it, I was like, wow, it's got anger in there, it's empowering, it's witty, your lyrics are amazing, the way that you word things, such a good storyteller you are. Um, how have you found everybody else has reacted to it? Have you had a lot of messages, a lot of response about this single in particular? Yeah, absolutely. I think people that have been through similar things, abusive yeah. relationships have definitely connected with it. It's just therapeutic for me. It's a, it's a release to get that out. Yeah. It's kind of a thing that people don't talk about yeah. normally face to face and to have a creative way to put that out yeah i'm super grateful and yeah like the community has just like grabbed onto it and flown with it and yeah the support's been absolutely amazing yeah it's really good to see and i want to know what you're working on next as well because i don't know how much you can talk about right now in the hollow ground of donnington park but harpy what is next can you tease anything for us <laughs> i can give you a tiny little tease Love it, can't wait. <laughs> there is a new single coming out. She drops a song a year, Slay. Um, it's called Suffering. Okay. Classic me. And um, it's got a feature on it, which I'm really excited about. Oh, okay. I can't tell you who. All right. But everybody's going to know who it is. Um, <laughs> it's going to be fucking sick. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. And since you are giving the goth vibes every single day to the best of your ability, you are like goth queen for sure. I want to ask you, since you're a fellow spook, if you were a ghost and you could come back and haunt anybody, fake person, celebrity, whoever, who would you come back and haunt? <laughs> There's so many people. <laughs> There's too many people, but I would absolutely haunt my exes and ruin their lives. <laughs> Why not? Who wouldn't, you I know? know? <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? And if you had an autobiography out, what would your due title of your autobiography be? Um, <laughs> oh, the morbid life of Harpy? I don't oh! know. Something, something dark and miserable. Yeah, something, something grim, but the best. Absolutely. I love that. Okay, well, like I say, Download Festival has been amazing so far, and it's amazing to see you here amongst it, and I cannot wait to hopefully catch you on the stage very soon as Thank well. That would be so amazing, much. wouldn't it? It's coming soon this it's year. Coming. I can't announce any dates, but shit is happening. Woo! Stay tuned. Happy everybody!